I'd like to explain in lay terms, so any scientists out there will excuse me, about how carbon monoxide actually harms the human body. Carbon monoxide um, attaches to the haemoglobin in the blood. Now we all know that we need oxygen to survive. Unfortunately, the haemoglobin um, has a greater affinity, i.e. it likes carbon monoxide more than it does oxygen. So what happens is the carbon monoxide will attach to the haemoglobin and prevent the oxygen travelling around the body. So you can imagine that your body needs oxygen to live. Every part of your body needs that oxygen. And if it becomes depleted over time, then it will harm the cells within your body. Now, there are a couple of ways that you can get poisoned. When I say ways, there are a couple of types of um, poisoning. There's acute poisoning and there's chronic poisoning. Acute poisoning is generally um, a, a one-off event where you might get a catastrophic failure of something or that you are placed um, in a vulnerable position in a carbon monoxide saturated environment. These are the sorts of incidents that we see on the news where the emergency services are involved and they get reported. The other type of uh, carbon monoxide poisoning is chronic. Now, chronic poisoning is um, a poisoning where you will get poisoned by lower levels of carbon monoxide over a longer time frame. So this is typically what happens in the home. So you might have um, a cooker or a furnace or something like that that hasn't been maintained properly or has broken down or the flue becomes blocked or something of that nature. What happens then is that your body is subjected to carbon monoxide over a longer period of time and the carbon monoxide within your body um, prevents oxygen traveling around the body. Now both of these things are equally dangerous. Obviously an acute um, attack can kill you very quickly um, but we don't hear about those people often who survive an attack and are then harmed perhaps sometimes for the rest of their lives. And, and this is the thing that I'm trying to get over in this short clip here is the fact that you've survived the carbon monoxide incident generally an acute one, if you've survived an incident that doesn't mean necessarily that you're over it and those symptoms may last for some considerable time. You may be suffering from flu-like symptoms that have come on over time that you can't really explain away. You might get headaches periodically. You might get headaches that won't go away. You could be suffering from what you might consider to be a stomach bug. You may become chemically sensitive and sensitive to other things. So you may find that loud noises affect you now where they didn't affect you before. You may find also that bright lights do the same sort of thing. That when you're going around doing your housework, um, the chemicals that you're using may affect you where they didn't before. So carbon monoxide has a number of ways in which it can affect you. But we have to get over this notion that if it doesn't kill you, you can get over it. Now there are strategies that may make you better, but if you've been poisoned, you need to seek assistance and advice. Now, we're here for that assistance and advice, and you'll find on this website many forms and many um, ways in which you can contact us. We even have a 1-800 number. So if you need some assistance, by all means contact us, and I will do my level best to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Email is the best way. But if you, if you can't do it any other way, you'll see the 1-800 number on the site. Call that. Um, it will either be answered or leave a message and we'll get back to you as soon as we possibly can. Thank you for listening and I hope it's been